a light shines through. Exposing the frauds for who they are. Every time he creates. Introducing the boldest man on the net. Jesus did not die to glorify and redeem Satan's kingdom. In John chapter 17, verse 9 and 16, Jesus said, quote, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are dying, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. End quote. The twelve tribes of Israel described in the Old and New Testament are all descendants of the promised seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The remnant of Israel scattered throughout the world today are of the same people that were scattered throughout the world before Jesus was born and during the lifetime of Jesus. Jesus died to save all 12 tribes of Israel, the southern and northern kingdoms scattered throughout the world, infused into the culture and world of Greco-Romans. African Americans are one of the 12 lost tribes of Israel. African Americans are descendants of the tribe of Judah that were dispersed throughout North America in 1619 AD. God scattered the 12 tribes of Israel. God did not terminate the 12 tribes of Israel. Although God terminated the Levite priesthood, God did not terminate the tribe of Levi. God terminated the corrupt Levi priesthood and abolished sacrificial laws and ordinances pertaining to the remission of sin. However, God did not terminate the 12 tribes of Israel and his divine covenant relationship with the nation of Israel. God terminated a corrupt institution, not his chosen people. God did not cast away the promised seed of Abraham he selected as his lot to inherit the New Testament covenant promise of eternal life. The promise of eternal life was given only to one nation of people, referred to by the Apostle Paul as children of the promise, who all are born from the promised seed of Abraham, Israel. The exclusivity of spiritual salvation is clearly written throughout scripture and easy to comprehend even for those who have difficulty with simple reasoning. Scripture unequivocally states, God gave his laws and commandments to the nation of Israel only and to no other nation. Quote, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He had not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. Psalms 147 verses 19 through 20. These factual statements of a scriptural truth, like all other scriptural truths, are not subject to debate, protest, or challenge. After the God of Abraham delivered the nation of Israel out of their Egyptian bondage, God gave his laws and commandments to the nation of Israel and no other nation. The laws and commandments of God commanded Israel to follow in the Old Testament are commonly referred to as the Old Testament Covenant. The nation of Israel did not obey the laws and commandments or terms of the Old Testament Covenant. Because of Israel's transgressions of Old Testament laws or covenants, God promised he would make a new covenant with the nations of Israel and Judah, Southern Kingdom and Northern Kingdom, and no other nation for the specific purpose of redeeming the transgressions of the nation of Israel that occurred under the Old Testament covenant laws. This is expressly stated by the Apostle Paul in Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5 that says, quote, But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons." End quote. Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5. Scripture explicitly says this new covenant was only between the God of Abraham and the nation of Israel. Promised seed of Abraham that is. 
whereby the promised seed of Abraham would inherit the promise of eternal life. When the seed, that is promised seed, of Abraham would be revealed, prophesied to be a sacrifice for the nation of Israel. This is clearly stated in Old and New Testament scripture that says, quote, For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. Hebrews chapter 8, verses 8 through 10. Also in the Old Testament, in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31, verses 31 through 33. Quote, Wherefore then serveth the law? It was added because of transgressions, till the seed should come to whom the promise was made, and it was ordained by angels in the hand of a mediator. End quote. Galatians chapter 3 verse 19. You do not need the IQ of a rocket scientist or brain surgeon to understand Old Testament laws and commandments only apply to the nation of Israel. The promised seed of Abraham, that is, nation of Israel, was the only nation of people on earth living under terms of the Old Testament covenant laws when God promised to make a new covenant with Israel because of their transgressions against the Old Testament covenant laws. Only the nation of Israel was given God's laws and commandments and the only nation of people that transgressed God's laws and commandments. The new covenant was made by the God of Abraham, not Constantine and his council of sorcerers in 325 AD because the nation of Israel was the only nation of people that violated the laws and commandments of God given to them by Moses. God gave his laws and commandments, Old Testament covenant, to Israel and no other nation. It can only be concluded that God's promise of a new covenant was to redeem the nation of Israel for their transgressions under the Old Testament covenant. Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5. Therefore, the New Testament covenant promise of eternal life was only made for the nation of Israel. The promise of a new covenant and the promise of eternal life for the nation of Israel are expressly written in the following scriptures. Quote, and for this cause he is the mediator of the New Testament, that by means of death, for the redemption of the transgressions that were under the First Testament, they which are called might receive the promise of eternal inheritance. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 15. The First Testament covenant was the laws and commandments of God given to Moses, i.e. Old Covenant. Only the nation of Israel transgressed the First Testament covenant laws, i.e. Old Covenant. Hebrews chapter 8, verses 8 through 10. Only the nation of Israel was given a New Testament covenant that they might receive the promise of eternal life. Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. According to New Testament and Old Testament scripture, the promised seed of Abraham as covenant heirs shall inherit the promise of eternal life by receipt of the Holy Spirit evidenced by speaking in tongues. The new covenant is fulfillment of the Old Testament covenant promise made to the covenant heirs of Abraham. Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 31 through 33. The New Testament covenant and the promise of eternal life is fulfillment of the promise God made to the nation of Israel in Jeremiah 31, 31 through 33, and Hebrews chapter 8, verses 8 through 10. Realization of the Old Testament covenant promise prophesies in Jeremiah 31 that establishes a New Testament covenant between God and the nation of Israel is relevant only to the nation of people whom the promise was made. A promise made to a specific nation of people in the Old Testament is only relevant to the nation of people the promise was made. 
when realization of a promise made to a specific nation of people in the Old Testament is fulfilled, only the nation of people to whom the promise was made are the rightful beneficiaries, heirs of the promise. According to Scripture, God promised to make a new covenant with the nation of Israel only. The new covenant and promise of eternal life was realized upon the perfect sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The nation of Israel is the only nation with whom God made his new covenant. Therefore, descendants of the nation of Israel are the only covenant heirs entitled to inheritance of the promise of eternal life. The nation of Israel is the only rightful beneficiary of the promise fulfilled. The nation of Israel is the sole beneficiary and exclusive covenant heir of the new covenant promise of eternal life prophesied in Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 33 and Hebrews chapter 9 verse 15. The prophesied promise in Jeremiah 31 and Hebrews 9 is inheritance of the right to receive eternal life made possible through the perfect sacrifice of Jesus the Christ. The promise written in Jeremiah 31 verses 31 through 33 was only made to Israel and Jesus died only to save Israel. Galatians chapter 4 verses 4 through 5 Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 Luke chapter 1 verse 68 Titus chapter 2 verse 14 Acts chapter 5 verse 31 verse 33 through 23 Romans chapter 4 verse 4 through 5 verses 15 through 24 Romans chapter 9 verses 4 through 5 Romans chapter 15 verse 24 Romans chapter 10 verses 5 through 6 as such the nation of Israel is the sole beneficiary and covenant heir of the promise of eternal life Hebrews chapter 8 verse 15 Hebrews chapter 8 verses 8 through 10. Any other nation that claims to be a beneficiary and New Testament covenant heir is an imposter, thief, and a liar. No scripture can be shown to substantiate any nation other than Israel to inheritance of the New Testament covenant promise. Within the context of either the Old or New Testament, the nation of Israel has always been the exclusive legatee, recipient, and beneficiary of the Old and New Testament covenant promises given to Abraham. Does race and nationality matter concerning who can inherit the New Testament covenant promise? According to contemporary Europeans, no. According to the written testimony of God's prophets, yes. The veracity of European theologians' testimony concerning the word of God is as creditable as the words that come out of Donald Trump's mouth. Greco-Roman priests and European theologians invariably contradict and oppose what is written in scripture by God's prophets. The eyewitness of history confirms what is expressly written in Psalms 83. The barbaric and inhumane treatment of African Americans and the nation of Israel by Greco-Romans for nearly 2,000 years was prophesied in Psalms 83. History testifies and scripture identifies European theologians as descendants of Edom and the enemies of God's chosen people. History testifies European theologians are a priesthood of sorcerers who enslaved only the promised seed of Abraham for 400 years, deliberately with malice aforethought, zealously misrepresented the biological lineage of African Americans and biblical Israelites as Africans and descendants of Ham imposed savage physical and mental torture upon the nation of Israel in 300 BC and chattel slavery beginning in 1691 indoctrinated the children of African American slaves to believe they are animals, subhumans, niggers, negroes, colored people, blacks, thugs, homosexuals, Americans, Greeks, 
Romans, and Africans. Erase the nation of Israel's remembrance of their humanity, nationality, ancestral lineage, and stole the national identity of Israel and reassigned Israel's nationality to various tribes of Greco-Roman Edomites. As written in 1st and 2nd Maccabees, Greco-Romans forbid the nation of Israel from identifying with their true nationality under punishment of death. History and biblical records show when Greek and Roman descendants of Edom enslaved Israel, Greco-Romans falsely declare to the world, Biblical Israelites and the promised seed of Abraham no longer existed and Israel was forgotten by God due to Israel's sin. Nevertheless, when the enemies of Israel identified in Psalm 33 as Greco-Romans, Arabs, and Africans falsely proclaimed God cast away the promised seed of Abraham, tell them to read Jeremiah 31 verses 35 through 37 that says, quote, Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel, promised seed of Abraham, also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. Thus said the Lord, if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel, promised seed of Abraham, for all that they have done, said the Lord. End quote. In 2018, the sun continues to give light by day and the moon and stars continue to provide light by night. According to Jeremiah chapter 31 verses 35 through 37, a remnant of the promised seed of Abraham continues to be a nation of people that resides upon the face of this earth in 2018 because it matters to God. According to either Old or New Testament scripture, any and every nationality of people in the world are not covenant heirs entitled to inherit the covenant promises of God. All races and nationalities not born from the biological lineage of Abraham's promised seed are precluded from inheritance of Old and New Testament covenant promises. The Apostle Paul made this perfectly clear in Romans chapter 9 verse 7 when he distinguished the biological lineage of children born from the promised seed of Abraham from children born of Abraham's seeds. Paul clearly refers to Isaac as the promised seed of Abraham who inherited Old Testament covenant promises in Isaac's generation. Paul emphatically said, He, Paul, too, is an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. Romans chapter 11 verse 1. In doing so, Paul clearly articulates he too was born from the biological lineage of the promised seed of Abraham. In Romans chapter 9 verse 8, Paul clearly explains that New Testament covenant promises are reserved exclusively for covenant heirs born from the promised seed of Abraham. In Romans 9 8, Paul states only children of the promise are counted as seed, that is, only children born from the promised seed of Abraham are counted or considered covenant heirs to the New Testament covenant promise. Scripture unequivocally shows race or nationality was the only factor God considered when determining who shall inherit his covenant promises. The God of Abraham is not politically correct when judged by American politicians but American politicians are neither righteous nor politically correct in the eyes of God. Men can neither measure, judge, nor understand the righteousness of God's judgments. I'm not ashamed. I know I'm a Jew. But they should be ashamed. Criminated Jews. Ooh, 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 ooh. I say I got the proof. Just open up the book. Revelation 2. Okay, okay. 
okay? Do you want another truth? Hey, hey. And it's coming from the top and they ain't talking no two pay. Hey, hey. No kick, no push, no loop pay. But I might grow my dress down my back, yeah, just like loop pay. Hey, I feel these chains coming off me. I swear I feel the pain of these love sheep. And I can't point no fingers at y'all. But I don't fear no danger at all. When my time passed and my last breath and my soul leave from this earth, it's nothing. I'm a rest in peace inside paradise. And that's inside the belly of this earth. In the bosom of my father Abraham, avoiding mayhem. I'm finally free from that curse. And whatever these preachers talk, they ain't talking knowledge. Cause I ain't never learned in no church. I hire the most of my power. I learn from the precepts inside of your word. I'm talking about line up a line, line up a line. That's the thing never reversed. I say I hire the most of my power. I just wanna thank you for giving me birth. Still you shy to save my soul. So I know I'm good when I lead this earth. Yeah, get up on a level. We be in the truth all the time on the ground. More than ever okay. I'ma set it straight Like a number two pistol If you're ready for the truth Come and dig it like a shovel yes. I'ma be honest I'm proud of me proud. If you knew the truth You would probably be yes. One of those people Who would probably say To represent the truth Is the only key yes. Tell me how long Will you be deceived yes. I'ma put it out And just plant the seeds Y'all people tripping No overseas I'm all the way in No convincing me We all the lost people The Bible said We are the chosen It's time for our people To rise up again Like some roses Truth coming out When I read the verses The Bible that book Give it life a purpose I finally found What I've been so sure Spiritual remedy on them plagues and curses And boxes in the land not Jews before All right, that's the heritage but the call us criminals Revelation 2, send a guy ready to blaspheme Push your father down to call the worst Bobby Ali I am a daughter of Zion KJ Big enough to tame all this lions and lions For all my sins I confess Trying to make faith for Abel and what I rest Generation being still suffering from whiplash Road reversal I'll pray to the first last I'll pray to the first last We serve the most high That's a high up. He's coming from the sky That's the sun you shy up. He's sending us his guy that's why we're rock. I imagine you shy up a rock. I'm not ashamed. I know I'm a Jew. But they should be ashamed. Claiming they the Jews. Ooh, ooh, proof, proof. I say I got the proof. Just open up the book. Revelation 2. We want to give all thanks to the Most High. The Most High. Ahaya. Bahashimi Shire. Or a rock. It's time to pull the wool over our eyes, you know what I'm talking about? It's time to lick the veil. I'll see you, Tazama. Yeah.